So you want to make something like this. Now I'm gonna show you my process on how I achieved this and you can follow it but it's not gonna be a step-by-step -step tutorial it'll be more like um, I'm gonna show you on which direction should you go uh, if you choose to make something like this so let me show you so obviously you are gonna start with the product that you are going to you are going to showcase I modeled this watch myself you can use your own model or make something new it's entirely up to you and i'm assuming you have something so which is why you are here on how to actually make a product render so after that you are going to need references by references i mean how to make your renders and this is not the same as uh, um, this is not the same as the references you needed while modeling your watch so what do i mean by that let me show you so you can go to pinterest or google or whatever you want so as you can see this is my pinterest there are some products here because i recently searched for this so this is like the inner workings of a watch you are going to make your mind on what you want to make what story you are going to tell so here you are going to gather references like this is a nice sort and i i was inspired by this like this sort i was very inspired by something like this and i tried to make something like this so you can absolutely find your references here this is an ad and you know, you know spend some time here and after that you will find some images like these images i found these are basically something i had in mind i want my watch to sit on a rock like that and uh, I wanted something like this lighting and then this is my main reference that I want to I want to put my watch in something like this environment on a rock in a sandy um, terrain and so these are like my main inspiration so after you get something like that your next step is making storyboard you can make a quick storyboard you can either draw it out or you know use you can use blender you can use a camera in blender basically you can do this you can take your camera and then keyframe it for all the sorts you want to all the sorts you want to make but you can always just uh, you know draw it out it's that simple you don't have to you know good at 2d drawing for this you can just draw it out i'll show mine So if you make something like this, it helps you visualize your sort before animating. You get the idea that what are the things you need to make. So in this case, I had, this is kind of like my, you know, my key sort. This is what I want to make. You make this in your storyboard so that you get the idea on what you want to make with your, with your model. Don't overthink it. Just, you know, focus on simple movement ideas and just make it. After this, we get to your model preparation. This is where you rig your object, uh, you know, parent objects, then texture them, modify something if you want, add modifiers or something. So for example, as you guys can see, this is how I rigged it. This is an inverse kinematic chain where I have rigged this. Here, what I need to prepare is, um, I needed to rig the straps, then after that, uh, except for the straps i parented everything else to this empty here i could have rigged it but i don't know i just parented it first so i went with that this is what i mean by the preparation you do this after you do this you need to make your background okay so for the background i have i made this um sandy um floor with a rock in it the sand texture is from ambient cg this is the link and then the rock is this one from pav 
I'll link this in the description. So I'll link a video in the description that um, shows you how you can do that. So this is the texture. And then I just color added a color ramp and made it black and white um, <clears throat> because I'm going for the black and white aesthetic. After that, um, a big thing is your lighting. So let me show you the lighting. Okay, so about the lighting. You need, you basically need um, a three point setup. Your key light, your fill light and your rim light. Let me, let me just show you with. So a key light is your main light. A key light is something that is your main light source. And after that, a fill light is something that covers the shadows. You know, what we do is we take a, we take another light pointed at it from like another angle from a distance and then that is your fill light you see uh, a fill light never overpowers the key light the key light always is that's why it's the key light it's the main source a fill light never overpowers it it just fills everything else what we can do is we can scale it then take it in front so in this way it's covered so you can see if i hide the fill light this is just with one point key light and then this is with fill light so what is a rim light a rim light is something that um, that carves the silhouette out let me add a point light a high power something like that and then I need to make the radius bigger. Then I can put it behind it. So now, as you guys can see, there is a, the silhouette is cut out from the background right now. Okay, so this is basically a three point setup. So that's basically what I do. So what I like to do is, you know, you can see there are a lot of lights. It's absolutely according to your need. You add light where you need. That's basically it. And you keep in mind uh, the three point set of thing. So that's basically how you do it. And another pro tip. It's not really pro tip, but let me just tell you either way. You should always add an HDRI. So what is an HDRI? This is an HDRI, a 360 degree picture. You add it, I'll link this one. This is the studio uh, HDRI. What it does is, if I add it to strength one, you can see with a zero HDRI, everything is black. But if I make the strength one, then you can see there is lighting, but it's not how usually it is. So, okay, so usually if you plug an HDRI, this is like the base setup a world output then you add a background node then add the hdri and this is how it looks we don't want to see this image so so for that you are gonna add a mix shader and in the mix shader you are gonna add a light path and choose is camera ray to the factor and the uh, first one to and then the background to a shader. That's how you get you get rid of the background. But of course, another way is to go to render properties. Then you know, come to here the flip the film. Then you come to the film settings and then just turn on transparent. That's how you get rid of it. But I also like to do this one. So yeah, go to world object. It usually is an object. You go to world, then you change the settings and then go back to objects to your, you know, materials. So after that, you go to the animation settings. After that, you go to make your animation. How do you do the, your animation? So this is where your storyboard comes in. So how I do it is I get a camera, you know, change the settings as you like. I have set it to you know vertical resolution because you know social media and then uh 24 frame rate 
I made the focal length like 100 mm that so that gives me much less distortion and of course you can use depth of field if you want so my way is I make one sort like for the first sort here's the camera then the light just goes through it it's that simple this is the light and it just goes like that okay so what I do is I make a sort then I render it out I you can go ahead like that because it's okay so I have one keyframe here and then the end of the scene and after that I cut it to another one so this is the camera the camera is keyframed okay that's how you do it so here what happens is so for this sort this is one, uh, another sort this is another sort whatever happens here then this is another sort so what I usually do is so for like the first sort I give it here then I change the end to here control end so this is like my animation right now this is my this is my first sort this is how I make it whatever I want to make I just use gradually go there so now let me show you how I render it out so for rendering I use cycles and EV both so for the watch I use cycles but for where I need the you know the background so for where I need the background I I don't want to I don't want to use cycles to render the background uh, it takes a lot of time so what I do is let me show you a very neat trick um, you go to a render output then set it to PNG there are the thing about okay so there is the thing about open EXR and uh, you know you can choose open EXR it will uh, save your storage space but if you don't have any storage problem PNG is just fine and make sure to put it to RGBA because age for alpha transparency if you don't choose RGB you wouldn't have the transparency so after that so let's say I need to just render the watch out so what do I do I can just turn the ground off awesome you get a watch but then how do you get just the ground it's not you can't uh, turn up the you can't turn up the watch because if you turn up the watch then you wouldn't get the shadows so what do we do is you go to here and then turn this on hold out okay this is called hold out it's uh, usually not visible you can click it and now it's visible so this setting what it does is it only applies to collections you can't use it on you know a single object it's only uh, available for collections so you hold these collections see if I turn off all the um, collections for the watch it cuts out those things as you guys can see so this is let me show you some dynamic thing okay here you can see the watch is cut out but the background is visible now so by this you can uh, use cycles for your main object and then for background you can just use EV so that's how you save your render time and after you render it out and make sure to organize your files like um, here I have all these sorts sort one I just use it uh, as mp4 but for the sorts I rendered like in image sequence I always have those like this so in this sort this is the is the image sequence for the background like you see this is how the background moves and then this is the image sequence for the watch make sure to uh, keep it in mind and change 
your output for each sort so that's how you do it first one sort render it out then you move on to your second sort render it out too and so on and so forth so all good now you rendered everything out so what do you do now you can use any kind of compositor to compose it uh, i used davinci but if you don't want to use davinci that's fine too you can use anything you want so you can even use blender for that so let me show you how you do it in blender because a lot of people use just blender so you go to blender new 2d animation i don't need to save it oh sorry uh, you go to blender new and video editing and then you change your settings to how you rendered it out i rendered it in 1080 with uh, 1920 so here i got my resolution with 24 fps of course okay so after you changed everything um you go to your folder then select the first one and then shift select the last one now you got your like background this is the background and then keep in mind to you know set your uh, timeline to wherever your uh, clip actually ends so my clip ends here so control end on 74 frames so after that you get your watch or whatever your product is so after like you made it you go to the output properties then you select ffmpg video that is selected then you go to um how is that encoding mp4 is all right you can also choose uh, matroska if you want or whatever but mp4 is usually all right you choose mp4 then h2.4 and output to perceptually lossless that is a good thing i don't know why but that's good so after that you choose your folder file path and then just hit control f12 and you get a file easy so yeah that's how you basically get your things